Well then, shall we head back to Crescent Isle and get Fina's ship ready? Enrique left us, and once we got back to Crescent, and once we get back to Crescent Isle, Fina will leave us too. It kind of makes me not want to go home. <laughs> what am I talking about? I I'm sorry, Fina. Aka, I will miss you. This is the first time in my life that I haven't been excited about sailing somewhere. Ah, we're back at Sailor's Island, or Crescent Isle. Sailor's Island, Sailor's Island. That's where we were. Home sweet home. <clears throat> hey, look who... <laughs> hey, looks like they made it back alive after all. I thought he was leaving us. Oh no, Clara yes. caught him. Aka, Fina, long time no see. Hi, Vice. You all look well. Gilder? And Clara? It's great to see you two. W what's in the basket? I just baked a bunch of pies. Come on, let's eat while they're still warm. <laughs> wow, really? Homemade pies? Clara, you're the best. I'm glad you all made it back safely. And it looks like you got Venus ship back. Does that mean you'll be returning to the Great Silver Shrine soon? Yes, thank you, Gilded, for all that you've done for me. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to thank me. You guys did all the hard stuff. Well, Fina, it looks like you've completed your mission. You're going home a hero. Congratulations! Thank you very much. Well, since you're leaving us, we should throw you a going away party. Let's hear it for Fina. Aye! Uh, hey there, fellow gamers. Kevin J. Gaming here, welcoming you back to some more Skies of Arcadia Legends. <sighs> we returned after going to uh, Deep Sky in the last episode. And now, Enrique's left us, but we've met up with Gilder again. That's not too bad. And now, we're back in Crescent Isle, our home. Ta-da! Feast your eyes on this! Wow, it looks delicious! Clara, you're amazing! Amazing! I don't know how to say that. It's so hard to do girl voices. Well, Fina, looks like this is going to be a great party. Yes, uh, thank you, all of you. It means so much to me. I, I started off knowing, not knowing anything about this world, but thanks to all of you, I was one of the first to sail around it. I remember when you first got here, you didn't even know what it meant to buy stuff. What? What kind of crazy place is she from? I'm not lying! She said that they don't use gold at the Great Silver Shrine. Wow, that's odd. I don't know if you guys are really advanced or really behind. It's, it's not just gold that we don't have. Flowers, animals, there are so many things that I've never seen until I came here. In my travels with all of you, I experienced so much. And one more thing. I learned something very important while I was here. When I left the shrine, the elders told me you cannot trust anyone in this world. They said that the people of this world were fools who just bickered amongst themselves and burned in the flames that they themselves set. But I met so many caring people while I was here. I learned that even though some try to obtain their objectives through war, there are others that work together to try and bring peace. I learned so much. The memories that we've shared will be the Thank most valuable much. treasures I'll ever have. Well then, tonight we party until morning. Ah, oh, Ismail, woo! And so, Fina's farewell party continued merrily until the morning light. Food was shared, tales were told, and the bonds of friendship were strengthened. The first encounter with Fina, the great escape from Volua, and the search for the moon crystals. As the memories resurfaced, it seemed as if there would be no end to the days that would spend no end to the days they would spend traveling together. And then Fina, what's wrong? Let's join in the fun. 
Yes. Tomorrow, I'll have to leave. I'll be alone again. I don't want... I don't want to leave. I want... I want to stay here, with all of you. You all mean so much to me. Oh, Fina. I... What the... What was that? Vice! Vice! It's an emergency! It's the Armada! They're here! The Armada?! They're attacking the island! Everything's destroyed! No! It's all on fire! Vice, look out! <laughs> nice place you had here. Pity that it's burning to the ground. We would have asked you to surrender, but we decided that would be more fun to kill you. Okay. Oh, things are getting serious. Crescent Isle has finally been attacked. I mean, it was about time that they found out where uh, our island was. I mean, we're not far from Valua, but geez, they're already here. So these are shadows. These guys are a main enemy, or the enemy we're going to be facing. We're going to use a glyph of speed here. These guys, well, we missed. Hard to hit, I guess. Oh, wow. A well, time. Well, it doesn't matter because we're using the item. The AI on these guys are actually pretty smart. Um, the missed, man, two misses in the first two attacks. There we go. They don't have a lot of health though. I'm gonna silence her again. Why? You, why do you care so much about silence? Silencing Fina. I use items, man. There you go. Now she's silenced, but she can still. There you go. She's gonna use Wevelin. It's gonna be like a friggin' tornado. A big blue spell. Doesn't hit Fina though, she's not close enough. Should have gone for Vice, probably would have hit all of them. As you can see, they are very fast though. They all went before Fina, at least. And once with this, we'll all go first. Now we're gonna use a Rain of Swords. You can just use an Alpha Storm, I guess. We just wanna hurt all of them. And you can just attack that last one. Alpha Storm. Eh, doesn't hurt him at all, but that's fine. Rain of Swords, on the other hand. Oh, that doesn't finish them off, but it did a lot of damage. Death Strike. That has a chance of killing. I believe, because it only did 200 damage. Oh, wow. that, that Her attack did more damage than the Alpha Storm. These guys really hurt. Jeez. Ah, oh, man. They've attacked our island. I'm so upset. After everything we were building up on this island, they went and destroyed it right in front of us. Going for that Wevelin again. Going for Aka, I don't know why. If they went for Vice, it would hit all of us. It's weird. Do, 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 do. Okay. We'll attack that one. You can attack that one. And you can't use magic. So you're gonna finish off. I have a Pyrum box, don't I? Yeah. Let's try so I'm gonna use a Pyrum box. I'll finish off the one that has low health and hurt the other two. And I figure that will finish off the battle. Oh wow, that last one has no health either. That one guy's guarding. It's not too bad. There we go, Fina, or Aka finishes off that one. And his vice gonna finish off this last one. Kablam! No, because he's guarding. Everyone attack, just, ha! <laughs> Done, okay. We defeated the shadows that landed on our ship or on our island, that jumped from the ship. I can't think today. Ugh. Experience, that gives Vice a level up, that's not bad. And he gets Electris, not that we need any more spells at this point. We have pretty much all the ones I want. Valuan scum, how did they find our base? As I said, that you're kind of right next to Valua. If you must know. 
Ramirez! A patrol ship spotted the Delphinus when you came to Dangral, and they followed you back here. But I have no interest in you or any of your crew. There is another purpose for my... visit. I am here for the crystals. Hand them over. Now. If you, ha if you hand them over peacefully, I will call off my troops. If not, we will bombard your pitiful island until you are all dead. Did you think we just hand them over? You'll have to kill us! Nothing would make me happier. Now, you will die. Oh man, an iconic moment for the game. Here's Ramirez. He brought two shadows with him. We've never faced Ramirez before. We, we don't even know what he's capable of. I'm gonna go for a Cutlass Fury right away. I'm going to use a Glyph of Might on Vice, and Aka's going to use a Glyph of Speed. We don't even have a fourth partner, so it's just three on three. Getting silenced won't matter. I mean, we'll be okay. Let's try this. this Glyph of Speed will help us out for sure. we got to see how much damage we'll do to Ramirez. I forget, uh, he's definitely Silver, so I don't know what Silver's weakness is. Death Strike, yeah, it didn't kill him at least. The chances of that killing is unlikely, but it can. Oh, it's a light. There is darkness. Sword of the Dark Moon. Whoa! Jeez! Just chunked all of us for 2,000 damage. Finishes off Fina very quickly. Let's try this. Cliff of Might's gonna go off on Vice. Vice is gonna go for the Cutlass Fury. Let's see how much it does. Nothing. Freaking nothing. Okay, we're gonna try to get our health back. Uh. Where's the Rising Crystal? Rising Crystal and did that. Sacrilene Crystal on Device, I guess. We gotta bring back Aka. I mean, we gotta win this. I mean, we got hurt from the first fight. Now we gotta do this again. Let's try this. Okay, we got our health back. Going for a drill nose is gonna lower all of our attack. We have to use lunar cleansing to fix that. That's not gonna be too bad. Missed the other two, luckily. But the only one that matters is gone. We're getting very lucky with those death strikes. Okay. Uh I don't know what to do. I don't know what I wanna do. Ring of swords, I guess. You sacrament crystal yourself. Uh you don't use random swords. Switch your color to let's go red. Colorless Fury, Ramirez. You need a sacrament crystal yourself, and you are gonna use lunar cleansing to help fix up vice. There we go. Let's try this! Sacrament crystal. He's going for Silver Clips again. Oh my god. There is darkness. Sword of the Dark Moon. Oh my god, that hurts so hard. We, we can't even hurt him! You can take out the shadow guys, but that's it. I'm gonna go for a Reign of Swords. I'm gonna go for Ramirez. There's 
gonna lay in no damage. Okay. There goes Aka. Cutlass or Rain of Swords. Doesn't even these shadows are better than the last ones. Going for that drill nose again. Nothing. We just gotta lay into him. Death Strike. Again, we're getting lucky without dying. Oh, a turn him. You can't block that. That's the instant kill. No matter what you do, that will always kill you. And if you block the adverse effect that it kills you, it does damage. And a critical hit. <sighs> that finishes off Fina. We couldn't even hurt Ramirez. Like, jeez. How are we going to win that? <sighs> At last, all of the crystals are mine. Ramirez, wait. Why? Why are you doing this? Fina, the people of this world don't deserve to live. Like you, I was sent here to gather the crystals. Shortly after I arrived, I discovered the Valuan Empire was also searching for them. They were relentless. I knew they would eventually find them. After Valua's forces retrieved the crystals, I was going to steal them and return to the shrine. While I was in Valua, I learned a great deal about the people of this world and what motivates them. Greed, hatred, Bigotry. They only value material items that can be bought with gold. The people of this world are shallow and petty. I lost all hope for them. I began to despise these lo those loathsome creatures. But there was one. One that was different from all the rest. Lord Galcian. Lord Galcian was swayed neither by flattery nor gold. He also had little faith in the people of this world. Only one thing mattered to him. That was power. Lord Galcian convinced me that this world needed a single ruler. One who could slaughter the weak and lead the strong. He showed me the meaning of true power. The one who holds all the power can end lives, destroy cities, and change the world. A man like Galcia needs to rule this world. He can unlock its potential. I swore an oath. I would lay down my sword and my life for Lord Galcia. We now hold all the crystals. With these, a power greater than the Gigas will be brought back to this earth. Now all of you will bow before him. You're a fool to underestimate us. Do you think we'll just let you get away with this? Fools. Fools. What can you do without the moon crystals? You don't even know their true purpose. What are you talking about? The power to call down the reins of destruction lies hidden within them. Fina, you knew that was our people that called down the reins of destruction, did you not? What? That, that's a lie! We were not sent here to prevent the Gigas from being revived. We were sent here so that the Elders could unearth the lost continent of Sol Soltis. That is our true mission. Once the six moon crystals are combined, the lost continent shall rise from deep sky. But now, I work for Galcian. Together we will raise the lost continent and with it, unleash the reins of destruction ourselves. I don't know what you mean by lost continent, but aren't you, aren't you people forgetting something? You only have five of the crystals. The battle isn't over until you have all six. You are correct. But you don't know about the sixth crystal. The silver crystal. Watch closely. What the... 
In his hand, the silver crystal? <gasps> Fina! All Silvites are born with a piece of the silver crystal within them. In other words, the silver crystal contains our life force. Only through death can the crystal be retrieved from our bodies. Unlike Teodora, we are not interested in Fina's knowledge of the ancients. We are interested in the crystal within her body. Fina, you shall give me the sixth crystal. Ah! He's killing Fina! Fina! Come, Fina, give your life to Lord Galcian. Heh, <laughs> it's a good thing you, that guy's long-winded. Hang on, we got you covered! Pests. Nevertheless, I got what I came for. I can get the silver crystal anytime I please. Fina! The crystals are ours. Farewell. You'll pay for this, Ramirez. You. Will. Pay. We gave all of our moon crystals to Ramirez.